You thought the worst the Etika disrespect would come from J Station with this stupid few minute long video of why you should donate to Etika's family in a video where he originally titled it contacting Etika at 3am to try and capitalize on his death and get more views. But we have a new contender and you might not be surprised of who it is because it's YouTube's very own NNA Productions. Hey, gang, gang, gang. God stays in heaven because Basically, a few days ago, NNA decided it would be a great idea after Etika died to make a video where he would contact Etika at 3 a.m. via FaceTime. Great idea, I know. Personally, I'm surprised I didn't come up with it myself. And obviously, with a video of that subject matter right after Etika died, it got a lot of hate, so he took it down to try and evade all of it. And I think he made a bunch of apologies on Twitter. Do you really care? No. So basically, about five days after he uploaded that video, he's recently uploaded on his channel a video titled, I'm Sorry. And it's, um... It's quite the doozy. So we're not gonna stall any further and just jump right into this epic apology video. I'm so excited. I wonder what's inside. Guys, before this video starts, all the ads money from this video will go to suicide prevention. The link is on the description, all right guys? And it goes to Etika, all right guys? So all the ads money goes to Etika from this video, all right guys? I don't believe you. So guys, I have a lot of things to say and this video is gonna be unedited, all right guys? So I'm getting so much hate this past two days for making a 3 a.m. video on Etika. That's what everybody thinks. Everybody thinks I made a 3 a.m. video on Etika, but I didn't even make a 3 a.m. on Etika, all right guys? The video I uploaded, the title was just FaceTiming Etika. This is a blatant fucking lie, NNA, and you know it. Don't believe me? Well, every single re-upload on YouTube of your video has 3am in the title, and I even managed to find a video where somebody screen-capped your video, and the title did in fact include THE HORROR HOUR 3am. But even if all the re-uploads of your video are from some underground group of NNA haters who decided to muddy your name by lying about the original title of the video, and the one video I found where somebody screen-capped your channel showing the 3am challenge in the title was somehow photoshopped in some way, you still, in the actual original video, state that it is in fact 3am. Guys, on tonight's video, it's a kind of serious video, right guys? I was just sleeping right now. Let me show you guys the time. It is like 3.35 a.m. in the morning and I just woke up, alright guys? Guess what I just woke up from? Getting so many messages on Twitter saying, Oh, you better not make a video on Etika at 3 a.m. Like that's insane guys, I just woke up because of that. So it was a 3 a.m. challenge. Why would you lie about this? Who are you trying to fool? Do you think your fans are really that stupid? Well, shocker Mr. NNA Productions, but not all 12 year olds have the brain of a goldfish. Everyone knew the title had 3 a.m. in it. Why would you lie? This is literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen a YouTuber do on this platform. It would have been so easy just to fess up and say, I titled the video, 3 a.m. calling Etika, I'm sorry. But no, you had to lie. Oh, I had to lie, yeah, I didn't want to muddy my name. Shut the fuck up, nobody even respected you anyways. What respect was there to lose in the first place by trying to cover up that you did in fact title the video 3 a.m. challenge? Nobody liked you before, and now nobody's gonna ever like you. You've never made good content, all your videos are the same, you've been making them since like 2016, you're like a robot. You never change personality, you never change tone of voice, no matter what the situation is. You're just a tumor on this website. No one wants you here. Well, no one who is over the age of seven. Sorry, I went in a little tangent there, let's just try and continue with this god-awful apology video. I didn't actually FaceTime Etika. I just titled the video FaceTiming Etika so you guys be so you guys will actually watch it, alright guys? This argument literally makes no sense. Your fans would have watched your video regardless of what the title was. Like everyone is saying, oh you FaceTime Etika at 3 a.m. The title and thumbnail was just that, alright guys? Nothing else happened in the video. I didn't actually like FaceTime Etika. On the beginning of the video, I even said that like Rest in peace, Etika, like, 
How can I even FaceTime Etika, alright guys? This is like insane. Nobody watched it fully, alright guys? They just started hate commenting. Well, I watched the entirety of the video and uh, I quite regret it. Also, if you wanted people to watch the entirety of your video, Maybe you shouldn't have repeated yourself 9,000 times. Just a little hint there, buddy, for the future. I'm getting non-stop tweets saying like, Oh, I dare you to make a video on Etika. Everyone keeps on tagging me and I'm just stationed on Twitter saying I dare you to do a 3 a.m. video on Etika. I've been getting messages like, it's tagged to me and I'm just stationed saying, Oh, you better not make a 3 a.m. video on Etika. On Twitter, like they are tagging me and I'm just stationed saying, Oh, I dare you to make a video at 3 a.m. on Etika. Messages on Twitter saying, Oh, you better not make a video on Etika at 3 a.m. Shut up! And if you guys actually care about Etika, you guys would actually donate to him, alright, guys? And I even let, like, I even left a link on the description to donate to Etika. To people who were doubting he actually did this donation prize because it might actually be another lie. It may be hard to believe, but he did actually in the original video mention to donate. And I will put the link on the description if you guys can donate to Etika, alright guys? Anything will help. If you guys can donate to Etika, the campaign is on the description. So, I'll give him that, kind of. And I apologize for anything you guys think I did, alright guys? I didn't do anything, but I will apologize to you guys that I know I didn't do anything. Why should I even do that, guys? Like for one video, why, why should I even do that? I Get all this hate, hate. saying, Oh, I only really did this one bad thing. Why are people hating on me? Is like going to court and saying, Oh, I only murdered one person. Why am I going to jail for life? And again, I apologize for anything you guys think I did. I actually apologize to you guys, all right, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Whoop, well, I guess as they say, all good things have to come to a close, and that's the end of the video. What do we gather from this at the end of the day? Oh, I know. NNA Productions is a soulless, heartless cunt who doesn't respect the dead and only cares about views, and can't even tell the truth for a quick apology video where telling the truth wouldn't have hurt him any more than the original video already had. Overall, a terrible human being who should not be anywhere on this website. Anyways, I hope you derive some sort of entertainment value out of my mad ramblings. And if you enjoyed them enough, make sure to smash like. And if I can spin this fidget spinner for five seconds, you have to subscribe. Here we go. <laughs> Yay, I didn't know you have to fucking subscribe. Or your ass is gonna be in my next 3 a.m. video. <clears throat> Anyways, bros, that's been the end of Chegg, and I hope you've been keeping up with the amazing stories of Greg. Thanks for watching. Why am I still getting hate?